Oh, I see one dime. Oh, is it going to be seated or is it going to be warmer? Flip it over, pop that. Let's pop it. Well, good morning, folks. Back on the road again. Headed back down where I was in my last video. Back down here to central Louisiana. Not going to be meeting up with Bayou Diggs this time around. But I'm going back to the same location. Uh, on the last video, I really had great success, and, and that Manticore really brought out some targets that we had previously went over and we missed with the Manticore, with the uh, Equinox. And so I want to go back out today. And my theory is I'm just going to do slow walking, tight gridding, and uh, just let the, the Manticore speak and try to find stuff that. Uh, maybe is masked with iron in the iron infested areas and the real trashy infested areas. Just go real slow, tight grid, and uh, just see what we can come up with today. So I'm hoping that's going to pay off. Had a really good hunt on the last video, found some good stuff. Maybe we're going to do it again this time. We'll see. I got a little bit further to go, so you guys just sit back and relax and just enjoy the show. let's get to swinging so we're going to do tight grids slow swings and just really work one area really really good and see if this manicure can pop out stuff that we have missed in the past so let's get to swinging well i got my second good target my first target was a, a weedy and my second target is also a weedy and this is going to be a 1923 100 years old this year uh, so that's a pretty good sign that we're still missing stuff. This is weird though. This ring up is a 56, a 54 on the mana core, and it should be ringing up higher than that. So uh, I'm going to start listening to the lower numbers for the coins now and uh, just dig anything that has a decent tone and even an iffy tone. I'm going to dig it all today. So 23 weedy. If they're getting a weedy, we're going to get some silver. So let's keep on going. All right, let's get a 66, 67. Very loud, about four inches deep, and just popped it up and some type of buckle. Check this out. Right there. I don't know what it's going to be. It's got something on the front. Not a buckle, maybe a, yeah, a sash buckle. Let me clean this up and uh, let's see what it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be some type of uh, brooch or something. There's a pin right there. Kind of barely hanging on. There's probably been two of them. We'll clean it on up. It's still got some color on it. Yellow and red and some and stuff. So we'll try to clean that up at the wrap up and show that a little bit better. All right. Well, there's a nice little find. Man, of course, sniffed it out. So let's keep on going see what else we can get. Well, I'm right up here in this little corner. I just dug that uh, hair thing right over there. Got two 90 tones right over here. They were just trash. Walked over here getting an 82 and that looks like a token doesn't it could preacher digger get another token I see something on it come on let this be a good token I don't know let me clean it up and let's see what it is not so lucky this time it's just gonna be an aluminum slug probably off some type of electrical box or something Oh, it had me going there for a second. Let's keep swinging and see what else we can get. Well, it's been pretty quiet. Haven't had a lot of targets, but I got a good one right here. Check this out. It's right beside where Bayou Digs in the last video dug that uh, eagle button. I'm getting a good 86, 87. Let's turn on it and see what it does. 83, 84. Nice. Just targeting in on different numbers right there, but showing to be about six, seven, eight inches deep. So let's dial live dig it and let's see what's going to come up to be. Hopefully it's going to be a silver and we'll get it live, Doug. I haven't been digging live. There's a lot of trash right out here where I'm digging. 
All right, let's see what this is going to be. I see glass in the hole. Well, check that out. Reading up that high, it's just going to be a clad dime. Oh well, we tried. Let's keep going for the silver. Well, it's getting me a 55, 56, 57, kind of up and down tones a little bit. And uh, just put my shovel in, popped it up, and check this out. That's what I see. It's going to be a silver plated spoon. I'm back out here in the what we call the circus field. Let's see what it says. Something master plate. You can't read it. It's going to be silver plated. Hey, I'll take it. I ain't finding too much today, but we've missed this all these times. All right, there's got to be a silver coin out here. There's got to be something. I was getting a 68 to a 72. I don't know what that's going to be. Does that say AW? I have no clue. I'll go that way or that way? I have no clue what that is. That's kind of an interesting piece though. Looks like maybe AW. I don't know. Let's keep on swinging, see if we can't find a silver. Oh, finally. It's been six hours. I've been all over this place. I've gridded, I've meandered, I've done everything. I'm just looking for a silver coin, any silver coin, any good coin whatsoever. And I got a 74 up to an 83. Uh, and it was a deep, faint sound. Just popped it up out of the plug. I was going to live dig it by thinking, no, nah, all I've done, done is dug trash all day today. I'm not going to do a live dig, but check this out. I just popped it up. You can see it was it was seven inches, about six and a half, seven inches deep. There it is. I don't know what it is. Hopefully it's going to be old. Oh, I see one dime. I see one dime. Oh, is it going to be seated? We have dug seated out of here, or is it going to be barber? Which is it going to be? Oh man, I'm fixing this is my last dig and I'm fixing to just quit and go home and I just want to savor this moment right here. Let's flip it over. Oh, let's pop that. Let's pop it. And it's going to be a barber. Going to be a barber. Let's uh, get some water. Let's see what it's going to be. Can y'all make that out? 1907? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't can't tell. Let me uh, let me uh, pick it up here. Let's see if we can get it. Let me dry it off on my pants real quick. Let's see if we can. I can't tell. Maybe you can tell what it is. Looks like a 1907 to me. It's in good shape too, isn't it? Oh, my last dig. Well, I may hunt around this a little bit more now. Knowing that I got a barber out of here. Yes, I love it. I love it. And it was deep too. Wow. That man, of course, sniffed it out. All right, let's, uh, since we got this barber, let's uh, kind of circle the wagons right here for a little bit and listen down deep tones here and listen to those real iffy, jumpy signals, and maybe it'll be another barber in here. So let's check it out. Well, that's going to do it for me today. I've had a long day, about six and a half, almost seven hours I've been out here. Don't have a whole lot to show, but I enjoyed getting out here and just learning the mana core. And I dug a few good treasures, so I've got it all laid out here on my tailgate. Let me spin you around. Let me show you what I found today. Well, there's all my trash for the day. You got to dig the trash to get the treasures. And I didn't find a whole lot, but uh, I just looked at it as a way of just learning my mana core, learning the numbers. I wish I would have got this last week. We played Relic Mingo. My harmonica reed got some type of little bell 
I've got a um, compact makeup case with the mirror still in it. Uh, Texas and Pacific Railroad uh, bell seal. Uh, the railroad's only about 100 yards from here. I've got six pennies and two dimes and four Wheaties and got one greenie. Isn't that beautiful? Man, look at that. I don't. I can't remember what date it was. Then I got this uh, nice li looking brooch. It kind of had two hooks on the back. One broke off. And that's probably Victorian period, early 1800s, um, or late 1900s. Got some other little thing. I'm not real certain about what that is. Nothing on the back. But uh, interesting little piece. Looks like got an AW on it or something like that. I did get a Huey and Phillips Master Plate Spoon, which is a silver plated spoon. Need to look that up and see how old they are. Can't believe we missed that all these times we've been out here too. And then the best find of the day was the last dig of the day. And it was this 1907 with a old mint mark barber dime. Man, it's in great shape too. About seven inches deep. So it was worth it to come out here and dig that. I'll tell you a little secret. I actually loaded up and left. But before I left town, I rode around, looked at some houses and stuff like that. And I decided to come back and uh, hunt for about one more hour and uh, hunted for about an hour and a half and that's when I found my barber dime. So it pays to, to really stick it out and, and just take a break and just go longer and that's when it pays off. My last dig of the day was the best find of the day. And I wanna tell everybody, thank you for watching. If you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, I do ask that you please subscribe to my channel. YouTube really did me a number, it took over 125 uh, subscribers away. They say it was fake accounts and bots and things like that. So I need to get that back up again. So give me a thumbs up, hit that like button, and uh, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate it very much. Here's all the trash, and here's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can come down here and dig out of the ground and put on your tailgate. The greatest treasure is what's found up in heaven. Keep searching, my friends. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting, and God bless.